Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This, of course, is another episode of my Chop and Chat, and this is the March edition. Um, I didn't do one last month, but I did one in January, and I must say, tonight I've got quite a bit of stuff to get through. Hopefully this isn't a two-hour video, but I'm just warning you, it'll be a long one. So get a drink or a snack or listen to this on your way to work, whatever you girls do, guys do, um, listening to Chop and Chats, have at it. So... I've got quite a few different vendors here, anywhere from Teddy Bee's, Glitterati, Destination Wax, believe it or not. I found an old loaf, two old loaves actually from 2021, Swanky, we have some um, blank label L3, we have um, Yummer's Delight and some other stuff in here, but I'm just going to grab and go and get started. So I have a little bit of a different setup tonight. I made dinner. I'm, I'm home alone. My husband's in Vegas until tomorrow at a um, spring training. So it's just Poppy and I here holding down the fort, which I kind of like sometimes because I can do these videos. I can deep clean. I can cook what I want and all, all of these things. So um, first of all, I will say I do have hand eczema and that's what these are here. Um, the weather has been up and down and up and down here in Utah and when that happens my skin doesn't like it and it gets pissed off. So I, okay, I'm just, you know, if you have hand eczema or any sort of eczema, you know what it's like. So just wanted to let you know about that. Okay, I'm going to just grab and go. Let's start off with a well known to me vendor and a vendor that is closing down this year. I'm so heartbroken over it still. Let's start with some L3. This is Twisted Peppermint Pink Sugar Pie Crust. This is in a chunk form. I don't know if they will do chunks again before they close in September. I'm not sure. I can, I can ask uh, Jen and Trish, but I don't know if they will or not because these are kind of laborious to make just because of having to make the two different things and blend and all that stuff. But this was from back in August. And this was, <clears throat> this was, uh, excuse me, a request of mine, actually, because Twisted Peppermint is Bath and Body Works, and then Pink Sugar, of course, is the perfume, and Pie Crust, everything goes with Pie Crust. So, I wanted to request this one, because I love Twisted Peppermint, and I wanted to see how it did with something like Pink Sugar, to sweeten it up a little bit, because Twisted Peppermint is a little bit of a sweeter little bit of a sweeter oil to my nose at least. I mean, I love the body care. I don't really care for it in home fragrance, the candles and such from Bath & Body Works because I think they are a poor performer. So I'm just gonna chop this down here in eight pieces. I don't get too picky with it because these chunks fall apart as you can see. Uh, so I'm just gonna chop these and then by the time these get smushed around in my storage container and then you know moving back and forth, um, seeing what do I feel like melting today, the um, chunks just get separated from the overpour. So that's this first one here. I have my dishes on the other side here, so I'm gonna put behind me in my box I have. Poppy is playing around here with, she got a hold of one of my hair bands and she has a wrapper. So if you hear her running around, she's running around. Uh, <laughs> so this next one is a well-known one and well-loved one, I should say. This is Love Affair. I know several of my wax friends love this. Tam loves this. Darietta loves this. Vivian. Christy is getting into. She just purchased Love Affair for the first time because she isn't really into warm vanilla sugar in wax, but we've been telling her this is a really good one. Uh, this was also a sellout today, and it was restocked by Trish, and I haven't looked at the site for hours, so I don't know if it's still there or not. This is warm vanilla sugar shortbread cookies and zucchini bread so this one here i've had multiple times and this shape here are in the mayflowers this is from last spring these beautiful nice thick molds i really i really like these i was happy when i saw that this was offered back back last year so i just chopped this up and i just do down like that and then i just kind of chop in the middle here and I find that this piece is, I mean, that's thats a little bit of a heftier piece, so I might cut a little bit off here and just stick that tail end, end in with one of these. This is more of a normal piece for me. This smells like, I didn't tell you what Puss of Peppermint uh, Pink Sugar Pie Crust smells like. That one I just chopped, it has that 
twisted peppermint integrity with a little bit of sweetness from the pink sugar. And this blend here, on, on first sniff, you get, before you chop it, you get a little bit of the warm vanilla sugar. But then when you chop it, if you are familiar with the sugar, short, the sugared shortbread oil, that is a little bit more dominant. And then the zucchini bread is a very creamy zucchini bread in this instance. There isn't any of that spice component that I get sometimes from Jen's zucchini bread. But Jen's zucchini bread oil is my favorite zucchini bread oil out there um, that is from a vendor that I can get. Um, I think Sassy Girl Aroma has a fantastic zucchini bread, but we all know what's happening with that right now. So um, I've been buying a lot of zucchini bread blends from Jen because I love her oil and I can never have enough zucchini bread. So that's Love Affair. Let's keep with the shapes. Um, should I stick with L3? Yeah, why not? I'll see. I've got, I've got several things buried here. I line everything up on my countertop so I don't have to go back and forth too much uh, while I have you guys on camera because I don't I don't edit and I don't do any of that stuff because life isn't edited and I'm not going to edit my videos at this time at least maybe if I really decide I want to do it I'll do it but I'm me and I'm real and this is my life so this is this is what I am doing so um, I've got quite a bit of L3 in here I'm just kind of trying to corral it together here. Um, I did not wet my paper towels like I usually do, but that's all right, not a big deal. Let's do this next one here. This is, you can see my soap I have at my sink, Tree Farm. I'm still living in Christmas land, that's okay. It's just soap. Um, and then I have my drink up here also, which I might have to take a sip of. You see my warmer over here. I am warming Dessa's Homespun Scents. Um, sweet macerated strawberries and I have that in my warmer down to my right and then over on my on our entertainment center I have Mr. Winter Snowman and he's my only bulb warmer and um I have a strawberry over in there too I talked about in one of my last videos I've got to get a different warmer for my entertainment center but I might I might put my I honestly might just put another tea light there because then I don't have to worry about the plug and poppy and all that stuff. So this one is Rose Jam Sweet 16. This it says this scent is so good, it's perfect for any girl's sweet 16. It's a very heavy, creamy bakery cake. This is extremely accurate because it's a very heavy bakery cake. And then Rose Jam is lush and rose jam you have to like rose though it's got a little bit more in it than just straight roses rose is my favorite floral but rose jam you can just see how pretty this is here rose jam is beautiful with bakery um, I think this blend was offered in scoops either this last time you know meaning today or last time I don't remember poppy get down she is flying around like a bat but if you have a cat, you know, you can't tell a cat at anything. They don't care. They know better, but they don't care. So Poppy's flying around. So if we have some sort of incident, it's the cat's fault. So this blend, what like I was saying, was offered either this last time today or the previous the previous sale. I don't remember if this was a a uh pre-order extra or what, but I remember seeing Rose Jam Sweet 16 and I thought, man, I should buy some more of Rose Jam Sweet 16. I also have had Rose Jam Brown Sugar Pound Cake and that's very, very, very good too. Uh, Rose Jam, if you've never tried it, give it a chance. It's floral, rose, but it also blends like heaven. So that is this one. Next, let's keep with, this. Let's keep with the shapes and the... Um, the chunks. This is one of my all-time favorite blends. This is blueberry muffin zucchini bread. So this one here has been around quite a lot frequently. I don't really have to. Look at the beautiful oil glistening on the top there. This is a big performer. I One of my favorites. Jen has a really good blueberry muffin oil. Sometimes blueberry muffin can be a little artificial to me, but Jen's oil is not to my nose. Um, this is, I have this in scoops. I love how this performs in scoops. This is just an all around blend. I mean, it's blueberry and zucchini bread. Blueberry and zucchini bread and strawberry and zucchini bread 
are some of my favorite classic blends to always have on hand. And just cutting this, this is just wafting up into my nose. This is an incredible blend. Oh, you know, I, I wasn't going to cut this because I know, you know, Jen's closing and I'm chopping up my L3, but I, I have quite a bit of L3. Um, I've purchased from just about every sale she's had the last three years. So I have quite a stash, but also if you watch my empties, which I need to do part two of my empties, I haven't forgotten. I just, sometimes I don't have the time in the evening to sit for two hours because my husband wants to watch documentary or sports or we have to go to basketball or I'm not feeling well or something. So just thank you for your patience. It's coming. I'm planning on doing it on Sunday. And this next one here is Boston Cream Pie. This is the only chocolate wax that I like. This is brownie batter, yellow cake, vanilla butter fudge, and brown sugar pound cake. This is fantastic. The chocolate is just like you're making a brownie mix from the box. You know, I mean, I, I don't care for homemade brownies. I've tried to make them before in my life. You know, I, I do bake. Those of you that are a little bit closer with me know that I do bake and I do cook. And I love, 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 love to do both. And I might, I thought about putting a little bit of a cooking, cooking stuff on my channel, but I need to get a different camera. I need to practice quite a bit because um, this apparatus I have that films from above won't work with the stove. Um, so I've got to get, I've got to get creative and I've got to do some more research. So um, anyways, this smells like uh, a, a box brownie mix. I don't care for homemade brownies, like I was saying. I'm a more of a, of a fudgy brownie person and not a cake brownie person. And the couple of times I've tried, I just haven't really been happy with the outcome. So maybe I need to keep looking for a brownie recipe. But for now, box is just fine with me. This is so good. It is authentic chocolate brownie. And I don't even really smell the yellow cake or the vanilla butter fudge or anything in here. This is just creamy, rich chocolate brownie and so good. So good. Very good. Okay, next, this is one of Tam's favorite blends. This is Hey, Hey, Hey. Hey, Hey, Hey. This is banana splits with strawberries and peanuts. And believe it or not, this is the first time I've ever, ever had this blend. And we'll see how it works in my home. And I might have to get on the hey, hey, hey wagon. So these are the bunts, of course. I love bunts. Two bunts are $5.10. And I don't remember the price of the chunks, and I don't remember the price of the shapes. They vary kind of based on how much, you know, how much weight it is. But these are $5.10. Um, I chop these down on a little perforation lines. These are perfect. The, the piece just... It gives me just the perfect amount in my warmer. I mean, I guess theoretically you could cut it a different way, but I've never cut it a different way in the three years I've been chopping wax. And I'm going to keep it like this because it works for me in my home. But do whatever works in your home. So let's see what this smells like. I'm getting, I'm not, I'm, I'm really not getting, it kind of, it kind of reminds me of a banana split, but I'm getting more of a creamy peanut, if anything. I'm not really getting too much banana right now or anything else that you would find on the banana split. The whipped cream or the cherry. Is there cherry in here? Strawberries, excuse me. I'm not getting too much of that other stuff. It's just a very, very creamy peanut. But I'm excited for this one. This will be a good one. Okay, there's that. I have to put it in my box back here. The storage box trying to make sure I have all of my, yeah, all my L3 here. This next one is uh, from Halloween time. This, this isn't from Halloween time because I just got this in the, my pre-order from um, January. This is a blend though from the Halloween advent calendar. This is coffin cake. This is new to me. This was a new blend I think that was just for the Halloween advent calendar. This is butter pecan shortbread caramel drizzle, marshmallows, and sugar cookie royale. These, of course, are the two-pack tarts, and I believe these are $2.75, and there's still a handful left of pre-order extras on the site. Check it out if you... I don't, I don't know what's available still because Jen is selling out left and right now. So I cut these down into fours. 
Uh, sometimes, depending on the strength of the scent, I can get away with six pieces, but typically I usually stick to just four because that works in all of my warmers in my home. So this smells, this really smells like a nice, heavy, rich caramel cake. So caramel levels lovers out there, this one would be one you want in your house if you can get it. This, I, I smell the caramel drizzle. I have a little bit of the shortbread, a little bit of the uh, butter pecan. Butter pecan's a really good oil too. It's rich and um, a little bit goes a long way in my opinion. So that's coffin cake. Next one here we're going to do is um, another bunt. We have crisp berry crunch. Excuse me, I said that backwards. Crunch berry crisp, maraschino cherry, strawberry jam, and sugared shortbread. So this is one that's new to me, but I like all of these oils together. Crunch berry crisp, of course, is cereal. Maraschino cherry, strawberry jam. I wonder if Christy was involved with this one because she does a lot with fruit and a lot with cereal. But maybe not. Maybe this was maybe this was somebody's customs, honestly, because this sounds like it. This is smelling very much like strawberry jam right out of the gate, which I love strawberry jam. Strawberry jam is one of those oils that I use all the time. I'll never be without strawberry jam blends in my home. Although I really do like regular strawberry too. Regular strawberry is a little bit sweeter. Whereas this is a little bit thicker and richer. I talked about this yesterday in my, um, I talked about this in, what, what what video did I do? I don't remember. My empties or something like that. I was talking about uh, strawberry jam. But I, I really like this. I'm not getting too much cereal. But I find sometimes cereal blends uh, warm up once it hits the heat. I have a couple just one cereal blend that was available on Puppy Packs today. Um, I had all my customs uh, poured last week, and a lot of the my customs were the Puppy Packs. So um, the one that was Cocoa, Cocoa, um, Cocoa Puffs, Rice Krispie, Salted Caramel Milkshake, that concoction, that was one of my customs. So I hope it turns out well. Um, they haven't shipped my customs yet, because I've ordered quite a bit the last couple of weeks, and they're just uh, waiting to condense orders and stuff like that. So I, uh, somebody asked me today, um, I was commenting around on uh, the, you know, your posts and orders and such, and somebody uh, got a couple of my cucumber, cucumber, rosemary, mint, spearmint, and marshmallow fluff. That was another one of my customs. So I hope that one turns out well. I've had something similar to, similar to that from, I think, Super Tarts or, uh, yeah, and maybe it was Super Tarts, um, Poser Spa, if you ever had Poser Spa. Uh, I was trying to make another cucumber blend because I love cucumber. Marty likes lavender. I'm really into cucumber. When I need to chill the F out, I like cucumber. So <laughs> I'm trying to have a little bit of that on hand. This next one is new to me, but it's strawberry pound cake, rainstorm, and leaves. Beautiful, beautiful. Strawberry pound cake, believe it or not, works really well with fresh blends and fresh oils. Another example is strawberry pound cake, um, What's the blend? Strawberry Pound Cake Pacific Woods. That is a gorgeous blend. I'm going to have to request that one more time before Jen closes. But what this smells like, Rainstorm, I mean, if you had one rain scent, you've had them all, basically. They have a little bit, to my nose, a little bit of a floral undertone. But when you think about it, rain, especially if you have your spring rains, your summer rains, it just makes everything perk up and the flowers are extra smell good and all sorts of stuff you know you got to think about that time of year rainstorm and it also smells a little fresh i mean it, it the the earth reacts to the rain and accepts the water into it into the soil so everything wakes up and everything just is getting a drink so i think about the flowers are happy and it's fresh it's clean i wouldn't quite say it's oceanic because it's not salty it's just it has a little bit of a floral undertone to it. And leaves, of course, is Bath and Body Works. And that was genius to put this in here, in my opinion, because it balances out that freshness that it would just be um, 
like fresh with strawberry pound cake um, and the leaves I feel gives a little bit of a woodsiness to it. So this is a very unique blend and I'm happy I grabbed this. I'm going to sneeze. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. I'm glad I gave this one a chance because I saw this and I thought that's different and unique and I like those types of blends. Um, you can smell cookies a thousand times, but sometimes these here are your wild cards and they're some of your most favorite blends in my opinion. So there's that one. I have one more L3. No, actually I don't have it. I'm not done with L3. I've got to get my little shot cups here. This next one is a word bar. Jen does these at Christmas time. I think these are $5. If they're not quite $5 even, they're $5 and something. But I think $5 is sticking out to me. Um, this is Twitter Pated. This is another one of Tam's best blends. Once again, my first time having Twitter Pated. This is Green Apple Jolly Ranchers, Gummy Bears, and Peach Gummy Candies. So lots and lots and lots of good ones come going on in here. In fact, when I smelled this blend, I used the um, Green Apple Jolly Rancher in one of my customs. The Green Apple Jolly Rancher, Watermelon, Pomegranate, Strawberry, and Banana was another one of mine that was available today. I'm telling you guys this in case you pick those up and you have any questions about them. You know, I can, I can give you my interpretation once I get them. I mean, I'm going to do a video when I get my customs, but I know sometimes people ask questions. So I just cut this down like this. And these little pieces here are kind of small, so I might put two uh, in here. But this, I'll tell you, this is another one that needs to be brought back before closed because this smells so good. So good. Twitter painted is fantastic. I need to get more fruity. Just instead of fruity bakery, just fruity. I mean, fruity is good any time of year. It'll brighten up a mood anytime. You can melt it when people are over because who doesn't like the smell of apples? Most people like the smell of apple. And just this isn't artificial. You know, don't let gummy bears or peach gummy candies scare you. It doesn't really have a peach scent to it. It is predominantly apple. And if you think about how deliciously juicy that Jolly Ranchers are, that's kind of what the juiciness is in here. It's, it's interpreted very well from the from the realistic candy form into the wax, into the fragrance oil, I should say. So that's that one. Okay, now I have my little scent cups. These are, two, are these $2? These are $2, I think. Um, I have a handful here. I think I just have two because that other one is second in spruce. So, okay, I have these two here. I'm just, just making sure I don't have any more L3 in my lineup here. I don't. So, okay. This first one is been around forever. Pumpkin pecan waffles, strawberry pound cake, zucchini bread. This one here has crystallized a little bit, as you can see. Sometimes that happens just depending on temperature and depending on different things. I've only had a couple of pieces crystallize on me in three years. It doesn't change the wax. It's just... Um, it, it just, I guess, I mean, chemistry, we're all one big chemical reaction. So <laughs> that's how I look at it. I cut these into fours. And if I see that this isn't quite enough of a piece, then I'll put another piece in here. But this is a pretty strong blend. This blend's been around forever. Um, this is a good performer too. So there's this one here. Then I am going to do some cleanup here. I've made for dinner tonight um, something called holushki. Now, depending on a couple of things, you may or may not know what that is. It goes by different names, but I call it what it is because that's how I learned it. That's how I was raised on it, and that's what I <laughs> call it in my life. But um, holushki is basically cabbage and noodles, and... Those of you that know, I, uh, my, my, I don't want to call it heritage. I don't want to call it ethnicity. I, I am, I am of Russian Ukrainian descent on my father's side and my mother's side, I'm English. So 
of course, this is Halushki from my father's side. This is Maraschino Cherry Sugar Cookie. This is just cherry cookie. Very, very good. So Halushki is sauteed cabbage in butter with a little bit of salt, caraway seeds with egg noodles. Some people put sausage in there as like a kielbasa. Some people put onion, but my mom made it with butter. If you use salted butter, you gotta use salt because it helps It helps the, um, if you ever cook with cabbage, you have to, you know, cabbage wilts when it cooks, especially if you make cabbage rolls, which is halupki uh, or halushki. Depending on that, you have to break the cabbage fiber down. So you have to put some sort of salt in there. And then I sauteed in salted butter because that's how my mother taught me to make it. And, you know, we tend to make things how our mother or grandmother or the person who raised you, who taught you how to cook, I should say. Um, butter, and you put your, you, you um, chop down your cabbage. I use about a half a head, depending on the size of the cabbage. And then that starts to, to sweat and then your your cabbage will brighten up a little bit. And then that's when I start adding my little bit of salt in there. If you use unsalted butter, add a little bit more salt and you've got to taste it as you go. Then you need to put caraway seed. Some people don't put caraway seed in theirs, but I do because that's how my grandmother made it. That's how everybody in my dad's side makes it. That's how I was taught. It gives a little bit of flavor to it. And restaurants in the East, where I'm from Pennsylvania, and Halushki, if you're from that part of the country, you probably know what it is. But I know I've talked to some people that never even heard of it before. So that's what I made myself tonight because my husband, you know, I love to cook. And I've had boyfriends before and they have all been not picky eaters. My dad eats anything and every man in my family eats anything. And then I married the most picky man in the world. And so... I make stuff like this when my husband isn't home because I know he's not going to be impressed with it or not impressed, but just not thrilled that that's for dinner. So let's get back to the wax. Uh, next, let's do blank label. Blank label. Um, well, I just did L3 and most people know L3 is owned by Jennifer Westing and blank label is owned by Desiree Ruiz from Scottsdale, Scottsdale Arizona, I think is where she's from. So I have some... I got a Christmas advent calendar from Desiree and I did not chop it up because Christmas time came. I was going through a hell of a lot of stress in November and December last year in my professional life. I was depressed for a period of time that I am now out of and I just didn't chop a lot of wax. I pulled back from my, my channel, all that stuff. So my advent calendar, they were all significant sizes like this, so they needed to be chopped. So I did not do a video on my review of the advent calendar. I'm just going to kind of mix the blends in in my empties as I use them up because I didn't I didn't want to I just didn't want to. So everybody who struggles with mental health stuff knows you don't want to, you don't do it most of the time. So I'm going to get my blank label ones up here. I only have a few, but I wanted to at least get some of them chopped up here um, so I can start enjoying these. Even Yes, these are from the advent calendar for Christmas, but some of these I melt all year. Like this is menthol and peppermint and fresh things like that. So this first one here is sparkling winter snow. This is icy woods, menthol, peppermint, lemon buttercream, vanilla, and sweet sparkling snow. This was um, the 12 days of Christmas. Um, I think, I don't remember what day it started in December, but this was day five. That's what the numbers mean on here, of course. So this one here is in the shape of a little package with a snowflake on it here. This is very, it, it's, it's menthol and peppermint and snow and just nice. So I, I um, am chopping this up because Next time one of us has some sinus issues, this will be a nice one to put in our warmer. So I'm just gonna chop this down into four. If you heard that crunch, Desiree's wax is crunchy, similar to Vintage Chic. So I don't microwave when I do my videos here because I don't edit my videos and that will be way annoying to you guys. So I'm just 
it kind of is what it is with these, these wax, these um, crumblier wax, wax varieties. So I'm going to put a paper towel down just to try to save a little bit of mess. This next one I'm going to do is on the first day of Christmas. This, of course, was day one. This is honey pear butter crunch cookies and nutmeg filling. So this one here is great. I love pear wax. Pear is not used enough in my opinion. It's not super duper popular, but pear bakery is really, really good. This smells like just pear cookies with a little bit of nutmeg, kind of like how nutmeg graces the top of eggnog at Christmas time. This is just a little light sprinkling of eggnog, not eggnog, nutmeg, <laughs> excuse me, on here. Uh, this is one I would melt all year, so that's why I grabbed this one. I have the rest of the calendar up, put away for the season until I start melting uh winter blends again regularly. I'm moving into my springtime blends and my don't have a don't have a season or holiday attached to them blends. Um, as you'll see, some of the, some of the ones here I still have are I don't want to say winterish, but they are more one time of the year than another. And then some of these are all year and some of these are summer and some of these are just heavy bakery. So, that's <laughs> and some of these are a lot of these are new to me these blends this next one is all snuggled up this was a bonus melt this is Christmas day is over and you're winding down and reflecting this blend of fireside marshmallow fireside marshmallow musk cashmere cocoa butter and rich vanilla is a lovely comforting blend sure to warm the soul so just by that description alone this one is going to be a relaxing calm you down sensual blend and that cocoa butter cashmere any cashmere blend uh, will do that and um, I haven't I'm still dipping my toe into um, the blank label wagon I have melted some of her pieces in my home it does it does well in my home and I have ordered some customs from her that uh, she's working on I cut that down into four because this looks like a big piece, but cashmere blends can be a little light to me. So I feel I need a little bit more and I'm still in that, in that getting to know you phase of blank label and how much do I need in my home and all of that good stuff. You know, when you're getting to know each other and it's fun, <laughs> you know, what works for you, what doesn't work for you kind of a thing. Okay, next one here we have is Christmas wrapping. This is mulberry custard pie buttery vanilla fudge, flaky pie crust, and a tinge, I love that word tinge, and a tinge of sweet orange zest to set off all the richness. So this one here is very berry, and I love that snowflake, I love that. Um, mulberry is such a damn good oil, I love mulberry. Um, mulberry is was big in the 90s when home fragrance was just kicking off. My mom had mulberry and just about everything, I think. I'm going to cut that down because that's a little bit of a big piece. Um, mulberry. This is vanilla butter fudge, a little bit of pie crust, a little bit of citrus, but that mulberry is just gorgeous in here. So next, well, later this year when it's Christmas time again, this blend comes back. Just if you like mulberry and you're a patron of... Um, blank label then grab this blend I say go for it so I am trying to clean this up here I tomorrow Marty gets home tomorrow um, tomorrow is the last season basketball game so our fantastic season tickets that we had are we had great seats this year bye bye after tomorrow and I hope maybe next year we can get the same seats but we'll see um, we actually bought season football tickets um, to the Cougars the BYU Cougars um, so we'll be going to football games too which I I only do football when it's nice out I don't sit in rain and snow in that shit because I no, I don't do cold weather so <laughs> outside at least now this next one is warm cozy Christmas warm apple pie, 
oatmeal milk and honey and country cream this is all year round this is absolutely gorgeous i love this if i would have known this if i would have chopped this up i would have requested this as a custom because this is so good I like that Desiree chose to put the oatmeal milk and honey because that is a beautiful oil and it's not used very much at all. It's more of a body care, more of a soap, a, um, you know, that genre, if that's, that's a good term to use for fragrances, genre, you know what I mean, that, that type. Um, this is so good. I love this. Apple pie, to me, can be kind of stinky, like pumpkin pie can, um, I don't do a lot of pumpkin pie and a lot of pumpkin blends because they do kind of be, they are kind of a little crotchety to me, and I don't like that. And apple pie, it's the spices and, you know, just the, the chemicals with the fragrances and such. So uh, this is good, though. This is authentic apple pie. I can, oh, now I want apple pie. So that is warm, cozy Christmas. Okay, next, let's do Never Nude. Actually, let's finish Christmas. This is Must Be Mrs. Claus. Warm, comforting holiday spices, creamy zucchini bread, Christmas cookies, and brown sugar pound cakes. This is all year round, of course. I mean, those nice warm spices. Zucchini bread is a warm spice blend anyways. This smells, oh my God, is this good. This is another one. Another one, when Desiree opens up customs again, I'm gonna to have to request this one because this is so good. Zucchini bread, Christmas cookies, and brown sugar pound cake with the spices. I think the key to this is the spice because you know you can get zucchini bread and cookies, that's a dime a dozen. But the spices in here, it's just, it's so good. I love this, this, is, this smells great on cold. I can smell it even here when I'm chopping this down. It's a nice blend, I'm excited to, to get these warmed up. Oh, it's good. Good, good, good. And with this wax, it's a little bit more flaky or crumbly. You know, you don't have to worry about being perfect with your chopping. Be real, not perfect. That's how I'm living my life this year. I am turning 40 in June, and my husband's taking me to Vegas. We live five hours from Vegas, six hours if you count the time change. I mean, it, we, um, well, I don't really, I don't really think of it that way. If Vegas is an hour behind us because they're in Pacific time zone and I'm in Mountain here in Utah. So it takes four hours and 55 minutes if you drove straight so that you lose an hour. So I don't know. That's what Marty does. And if that's crazy, so be it. It takes, to me, with P stops and all that stuff, it takes six hours to get to Vegas. So we are going to Vegas. This will be my sixth or seventh time, I think. And I have some things I want to do when we're in Vegas. We're going to see O. O is the only Cirque du Soleil show I've never seen because it's the most expensive. And, you know, I've seen Michael Jackson, which I w would have seen again. I, I loved I loved the, the Michael Jackson show. I've seen Ka, Ka's at MGM. Michael Jackson's at Mandalay Bay, Ka's at MGM. I've seen um, Misty Air, that's at Treasure Island. I've seen Beatles, that's at the Mirage. And I've seen one that's, that is no longer there anymore, um, Zumanity, that used to be at either Aria, or New York, New York, or something. Three three shows closed in Vegas because of COVID. And it was one of those ones. So never nude. This, I'll finish telling you about my Vegas trip uh, after I talk about this one. This is never nude. Now, I'm done with the Christmas. This was from her pre-order from January, or actually New Year's Eve, I think. Maybe January, I don't remember. This is one of her most popular blends. Never Nude is a reference to Arrested Development and Tobias, who is never nude. He always wears his little jean shorts, which, you know, <laughs> it's, if you haven't watched Arrested Development, when I first met my husband, he loved the show. I couldn't stand it. But now I like and appreciate the cleverness like I didn't like Seinfeld for a long time I thought Seinfeld was crazy but now as I'm getting older and you know I'm a, I've went through a lot of 
a lot of experiences in my life and, you know, different things that we, we learn as we get older that we might not necessarily have thought of because our brain isn't fully developed until 25. Stuff that happens or things, things you thought were crazy when you were younger, you don't think, you know what I'm talking about. And now I really like Arrested Development. And just the level of ridiculousness that is that show is, <laughs> and Seinfeld also, but Seinfeld is just, it's just genius. So this is never nude. This is vanilla bean cake batter. Vanilla bean cake batter filled waffle cones. So this is just an exceptionally rich vanilla cake with a little bit of waffle cone. So this makes a fantastic blender. That goes without me having to say that. Um, I'm going to try this alone because I've never melted it before. But I also have a couple of blends that I can throw in with this. Um, next one coming up here. I can uh, to blend around, but never nude. I'm excited for never nude. That's a big piece right there, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. So we're going to see, O. we're going to see that on the day before my birthday. Um, and then we're going to go, let's see, we're going to spend three days there. The first day we get there, I'm not really sure what time we're going to be getting there. So I told Marty, we can do like white castle or a buffet or something that first night that we're there and then the next night we're there we're going to go to lotus of siam which is a thai restaurant that i've always wanted to go to but we've never had time for it's one of james beard award and who's who in the culinary worlds have eaten there anthony bourdain was there andrew zimmern who is my non he's my Andrew Zimmern is my platonic food husband who I would love to travel around the world with and just eat all these crazy things that he eats. And he's the, he's the bald guy with the beard. And he's eaten there. And Anthony Bourdain was there when, um, you know, many years ago. Um, and we're going to go there. And then on my birthday is on a Friday. We're going to go to Peter Luger Steakhouse. It is, this next one here is Blueberry Pretzel Delight. This is cinnamon sugared pretzels filled with blueberry cream cheese and topped with vanilla icing. Uh, we're going to go to Peter Luger. Peter Luger traditionally is a steakhouse in Brooklyn. They have two locations in New York, and they decided to open a location in Vegas. And my husband listens to a bunch of podcasts, and he heard on one of the podcasts, one of the hosts, uh, talking about how Peter Luger in Vegas had the best steak of his whole life. So... Steak, my husband and I really, really love steak houses. And even though I could have picked another restaurant, um, we were in Vegas for my birthday a couple of years ago. We went to, actually in 2021, we went to the US Open Golf Tournament when it was held at Torrey Pines in San Diego. So we drove to San Diego and stopped in Vegas to break the trip up. It was around my birthday time, so we went to Morton's Steakhouse when we were there. And I I wanted to go to an Italian place when, you know, but I thought, you know, Peter Luger, I'm not going to be in Brooklyn anytime soon. And <laughs> if I have a chance to eat there, I'm going to do it. So Peter Luger it is. And that's okay because I really like steak and cream spinach and all the yummy things that come with steak houses. So this one here smells like blueberry pretzel with a little bit of cream cheese. I am not a cheesecake person, but I gave this one a chance because there are different cheesecake oils out there. Sometimes to me, the cheesecake can pull a little sour. So I tend not to gravitate to a lot of cheesecake, but I'm also trying to broaden my horizons and give other oils a chance. So if I don't like it, then you know I just have a small size. I'll put it in my random act of kindness box. Okay, next, what shall we do next? How about Glitterati? Actually, I have one more, sorry, I have one more blank label I saw out of the corner of my eye here. This is the Wedding Singer. This is fluffy white wedding cake, creamy vanilla custard and strawberry slices. I love this blend. This is was one of my standouts when I did my video of on cold. This one was just so delicious. I'm a sucker for a good strawberry blend. Whether it's strawberry fruity or strawberry bakery, give me more, give me more. This is very good. Oh, you get that creamy, rich custard. It's kind of, if you ever had buttermilk pie from L3, I know that's a big piece, but I'll maybe 
smash it around <laughs> in my chopping tote. Um, it smells like blue, um, buttermilk pie from L3. Mixed with those fluffy sweet strawberries. I don't know if this is, it smells like fresh picked strawberry, but it could be another strawberry oil. Um, this is, that's a blank label in my box here. Okay, uh, so Peter Luger, and then my husband loves stand-up comedy, and Vegas has tons of comics. And unfortunately, his favorite comedians that have, that, that they're, you know, stopping there, they're not there when we're there. So we're going to go to either the, the um, Comedy Cellar or we went to the Tropicana. They have the Laugh Factory, something like that, um, I think. Something, I, th I think. So next, let's do Glitterati. Glitterati is owned by Janine Genzano from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. I just did my Glitterati, not Glitterati Customs, train's gonna go by, my Glitterati pre-order video yesterday. So check that out if you're interested in that. Um, Mr. Train, it's 8.30 here. I've lived here eight, nine years and I don't know the train schedule because it changes. It's not a passenger train, it's, it's a coal train and a freight train, so. This first one here was waiting for the, okay. This is pink orchid and amber and water lily and mint. I had this in my giveaway box for a period of time, but I, I was organizing it the other day and I took this out because I thought, you know, I'm gonna melt this because this is a great springtime scent. And I really haven't had a lot of these oils and I wanna just see, you know, what are they all about? To see maybe if I find a new love. So I, like I said earlier, I chop all these down into fours. Janine's wax cuts so beautifully like butter. There's no shards or anything like that. I love that. Um, this next one here, if you watched my video, this is Lou's Bakery. This is the richest, heaviest, cakiest, creamiest, Butteriest, most delicious vanilla bakery. And for me to say that I love a vanilla bakery, it takes a lot. This is fantastic. I want to eat this. I've had this cup since August of 22, and I haven't chopped it because I've been hoarding it. It has been, it has provided smell. I've been smelling this for two years, a year and a half, I should say. This is so good. I love that. I can't wait to get that. Can't wait to get that melting. So that's that, and now let's do the chunks. Okay, we have Moonflower Nectar Blackberry Plum. This is, Moonflower is, Swanky has Moonflower Oil. Janine has a Moonflower Oil. I haven't really seen Moonflower in a lot of other vendors that I that I shop with. There might, there, there are probably other ones out there, I just haven't purchased from them. This, it's different. It's really tough to describe. Um, I chop the glitterati chunks into pieces of six. So I just cut that down and then I go down in the middle like that. And this piece does well in my warmers. It looks big, but sometimes Janine's wax, uh, I need a little bit more of in my home to get the, the throw I want. But this is, and she also does chunks in here. So I can break this apart with my hands like this if I need to. So I'm not too worried about the piece being too big. For my warmer um, and moonflower is tough to describe so I'm not even going to attempt to butcher that <laughs> um, so that's Vegas we're doing Vegas and then my husband's birthday is next week and he wants to go to the Japanese steakhouse so we're going to be doing that and then he's going back to Vegas to do a golf tournament in a couple of weeks. He's busy. Okay, this next one is Candy Kisses Blue Sugar and Birthday Cake. I'm using some of my older, um, using some of my older chunks up just because, you know, I want to enjoy it. I do wrap most of my chunks in foil to keep the integrity of the oils intact just because uh, Janine's formula is so soft um, and I think it has a lot of soy in it or it, it might it might have heavy paraffin. I don't remember. Um, I 
just I store it like that because it does keep the oils fresher in my opinion I learned that from a good wax friend of mine so that's that one next one is raspberry mousse yellow cake and glazed donut mm -mm -mm. sounds fantastic so mmm that's good the raspberry isn't too floral in this it's more of a creamy it's I don't know it smells like something I've smelled in my life but I don't know what we're from you know one of those those mind games about where do I smell this in my life kind of a thing but your brain won't let you remember so man is that good I love that how beautiful that is that raspberry mousse damn is that good I might put this on the request list because this is this is really good. Whoever made this, whoever made this custom, bravo. So, bravo or brava? It's probably a lady, so brava. This is booberry, Captain Crunch berries, and funnel cake. So, cereal. Do a little bit of funnel cake. Captain Crunch berries is good. My favorite Captain Crunch is the peanut butter. But I don't ever buy it because I'll eat the whole box at one time. And that's not good for me. <laughs> this one. Oh, damn, is that good? That's Booberry Heaven. I love Booberry. I had a Booberry blend on the L3 custom list, too. It was a attempt to dupe a Sassy Girl Aroma blend. So <laughs> we'll see. This smells so good. This is blueberry cereal. That's the blueberry. And the Cap'n Crunch berries just gives that little bit of extra berry kick. And this is really good. I like that one a lot. Okay. Next we have, these are the fresh blends here. We have Island Fresh and Clean Cotton. Island Fresh I think is gain, but it might not be. It might just be a regular oil. Not sure. This is from January 22. So this is over two years old. But it smells just like yesterday, this is heavy laundry. Heavy laundry. Of course, that clean cotton is a good laundry oil. Had it in several vendors. It never lets me down. It smells so good. This is just wafting laundry. So this is perfect. I, I tend to melt laundry more in the spring and summer. I don't really pull for a lot of laundry wax, although there are some blends that I just I love. One of them is Watermelon Spin Cycle, which is great fruity laundry is is delicious in my opinion if you haven't tried it and you're interested start somewhere with watermelon or blueberry mix it with your laundry and because most of the time people people like watermelon and blueberry scents so it's a little bit more accepting to start with the fruit that you like and mix it with your laundry and try to and try to learn that way that's what i that's what i kind of did when i started melting vendor wax and trying to see what like, there are some laundry oils I don't like. I don't care for Tide. I don't care for Plain Gain. And some Island Fresh Gain, the, the, all, not all the oils are equal, you know, depending on what vendor they use. And I haven't found one that I like. So I tend to stick with the generic ones like Clean Cotton or um, Flannel Sheets or Clothes Pins or Laundromat or something that's like that versus a name brand. This last one here is Sweater Weather Nordic Nights. So if you're familiar with Sweater Weather, that's the Bath & Body Works blend. And it takes over whatever it's with. So I don't know what Nordic Nights smells like, but this is Sweater Weather. This is Sweater Weather. But that's okay. I like Sweater Weather. In Home Fragrance. I don't like it in body care. It smells like wet dog to me <laughs> in body care. <laughs> so this is... Oh, that's it's it's nice and fresh and yummy. Okay, that's glitterati. What shall we do next? Let's see. We're almost at we're 53 minutes, not doing too bad. Okay. That's my teddy bee pile. I have some vintage chic. Well, I'll do her last. They're crumbly. I don't feel like doing that <laughs> crumbly stuff. Um, I have, uh, so let's do Swanky. I have some souffles for Swanky and, and for extra fun, I have two loaves from Swanky. Two loaves I'm going to chop up. Okay. Making some room here for me. 
Okay, Swanky is owned by Jeannie Jeffrey from Washington. Silverdale or Bremerton. I don't know which one. Both of them are on her packages. This first one is one I have absolutely fallen in love with because it's so gorgeous. This is Bubble Bath Sugared um, Roses. I've talked about this, and if you've watched my Swanky video, Jeannie is one of the only ones that has um, rose. L3 has rose uh, also. But Jeannie is the only one that I have found that really knows what the hell she's doing with perfumes and bubble baths. And just look how beautiful that is. Bubble baths and perfumes, colognes, sophisticated um I'm talking like your angel share, your tobacco vanilla, your high-end, quality, classy, expensive, rich things. She knows how to blend them. And she's practiced a lot with them. I've talked to her about it because I've complimented her several times on a lot of these blends. Like I, when I smelled this, this is just wafting up in my nose. This beautiful, delicate rose with bubble bath. I've complimented her so many times. And I've, I've said, you know, Jeannie, you are my go-to for perfume smelling wax and for these sophisticated high-end fragrances because she is immaculate at blending them so and i've talked also i don't do a lot of bakery with swanky because it doesn't work the most in my house so i cut these souffles down into pieces of eight because i find that's what works in my home this is a beautiful delicious oh i could i just want to bathe in this Maybe I can talk her into doing this in shower or fragrance oil or something because I would I would just bathe in this. Oh, I can't wait for some of the, the pre-order that she's working on right now has Sauvage. It's my husband's favorite cologne. And there's a couple of other boom booms that she's offered. I'm just, I'm excited, looking forward to the one she's working on. So this is Bubble Bath Sugared Roses. Sometimes I take... Um, these are dried uh, rose petals and sometimes she has lavender in here too. I don't put those in my warmers. I try not to just because it's sometimes tough to get out. That's me though. And this next one here is tobacco flower. This of course, I love tobacco, but this is not like your traditional sweet tobacco. This is the floral part of it. So this one, as you can see here. It's very distinct smelling. It doesn't, it's it's very sweet though. You have to, this is unfortunately one that it's hard for me to put into words. You kind of just have to smell it, but it's, it's a lighter fragrance. It's not a powerhouse, but it's going to be there in the air and just gracing the air. And I find, you know, I'll put warmer, I'll, especially on the weekends, I'll have my wax going upstairs and I'm down here doing something or vice versa. I'm up there doing laundry or, you know, trip in the bed or chores or something and I go back into the room where I was or where I go downstairs or upstairs and I wonder what did I put in because it's just gorgeous it's just it's not knocking you down but it's also not non-existent you know I, and I find a lot of that is what I get with Jeannie's wax so I have found what works well for me with Swanky so there's that those two um souffles i have a this is a sample chunk of lemon tarts i figured i'd chop this up just for the hell of it this is a beautiful gorgeous tart lemon scent my husband loves lemon so i figure i'll melt this down here when he's when he's home this is a part of a loaf that she just uh That'll be good. We'll do that in four pieces of four. This smells like sugared. It's, it reminds me a lot of sugared lemons or Hello Lover, whatever you want to call it. Hello Sugar. That oil goes by many different names. That's what that smells like to me. Okay, next we're to the loaves. Moonflower. Now, this is just plain moonflower. And this is, it's tough to describe. I'm not even going to attempt to describe it, but... I will say I love Jeannie's loaf pans. I mean, they're just, and her, her wax cuts like a dream. You can see the oil glistening on here. Um, I always turn these upside down like this. And Jeannie's wax cuts like butter. So this just slices down beautifully like this. 
Um, I'm going to cut these. I don't really know how many pieces I'm going to get out of here, honestly. Uh, the last swanky loaf I chopped was her old, um, the traditional loaf pan. She streamlined her products to be more flat for storage reasons. And I haven't chopped one of these loaves up. So this is my first time doing this. Um, Moonflower is a delicate fragrance. I dare say to me that it smells kind of like violets. That kind of a, that delicate powdery um, profile that, that violet has. It kind of has a little bit of that to me, like I said. Um, other than that, this is a gorgeous fragrance. I read when I was purchasing this, this is one of their best sellers. So I thought, oh, I'll buy a loaf of it. I try not to buy too many loaves, but I'm buying loaves of L3 right now because she's going out of business. So I'm going to chop these down here in, that might not be a big enough piece for me. So I want to do a little bit bigger. And then this first one here will just be a, a test run. Yeah, I want to chop a few rows down at a time and get these down in my bag. Okay. Poppy has, she has a little, those of you who are friends with me on Facebook, her little ski lodge house that we got her at Petco for Christmas. It's totally Christmas, but I can't take it away from her because she loves that house. She goes and sleeps in there at night. She goes in there when she's pissed. She <laughs> she goes in there to hide. I can't take it away from her. So she's she's hanging out in there right now while Mama's doing this. She knows better than to get up here and try to play around because she'll get yelled at. That's too small of a piece, but like I said, I'm kind of um, you know, talking and chopping and really not counting. And that's okay. You know, don't really have to. So, um, I have been getting back into reading. I've talked about, I talked about this briefly <laughs> yesterday in my Glitterati video. I... And sharing my Goodreads now on my YouTube channel. You know, I, I said yesterday I don't want to. I don't want to do book reviews on this channel because you know, even though I do talk about more than just wax, I don't want to start that book review thing. This is Harrison. This is gorgeous, fantastic, delicious tobacco. Um, but I finished a book. I, actually, I, I'm my goal. I, I'm an avid reader, and the last six or seven years of my life, I should say. Oh, damn, does that smell good. I have been in a reading rut. You know, like we go through ruts in life. And I told my husband, I can't believe that I went this long in my life without consistently reading at least a book a week. In my youth, I read two or three books a week, of course. But then as you get older, you have more responsibilities. You know, you have work and family and kids and um obligations and just you know mental health issues and and just shit happens so i i got away from reading like i did but it's something that keeps me grounded and it's something that's extremely good for my mental health and i told my therapist in my last session that i'm getting back into reading and my therapist and I, if she wasn't my therapist, we would probably be best friends because we just click on such an important level. Just like she would be one of my best girlfriends. We like the same book genres. We both do book of the month. If you haven't checked out book of the month, you can ask me about it. It's something that is, 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 I love it. It gives you a different, um, different options each month and different genres you might not have looked at before like for example fantasy I'm not a fantasy novel reader uh, but I have a couple of books that are kind of a little bit fantasy and I enjoy them and without book of the month I wouldn't have been ever attracted to a book like that but reading is so good for your mental health and so good for just keeping your brain active and keeping you know your faculties in in that in you know your your mental health your mental health faculties and just, you know, your, you know, we get older, our, our brain starts 
doing different things and thinking different things. Same with crossword puzzles and such, but I'm, I'm reading consistently and I'm happy that I'm doing so. Um, okay, next. There's Vintage Chic. I have Everything Vice. That's a new vendor to me. I have Teddy Bees left and I have Destination Wax. Let's do Destination Wax. I was looking around in my overflow storage. I, I say that jokingly. Um, I have storage in my basement of a lot of duplicates that I bought. You know, if I buy two or three of something, I moved them downstairs and I work, uh, most of my wax is upstairs, but I have my duplicates downstairs. So I, um, I am going to be filming my Sassy Girl Aroma entire collection. And I thought I had gathered all of my items, but I didn't go downstairs to look through the stuff that I have there. And most of Sassy Girl Aroma stuff I have is upstairs, but I knew I had some loaves downstairs. And when I was looking around the other day, I found two Destination Wax loaves from 2021. Look at that. 2021. This one's almost three, and this one's almost three. So I figure I've got to get these melted because maybe they don't even smell anymore. We'll see. This first one is Pink Sorry. Destination Wax I haven't bought from in a while just because I fell in love with other vendors and I found um, Destination Wax is owned by Rebecca Harris and I don't remember what state she's in. I do apologize. It's been, it's been a while I've ordered, like I said. Uh, Pink Sorry is pink sugar with patchouli. Pink sugar patchouli is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Just, it's gorgeous. And I really, I like, see the oils in there. This might not be a dud after all. So you <laughs> see the oils in here. Oh, um, Destination Wax has a lot of single oils and I just gravitated away from it. Um, her formula also, I find, starts to peter out around 15 months or so. So I thought I had used up everything I had, but I found this guy and I'm going to use it up and see. So far, it smells good. It might not be as strong as it was when I first bought it because, you know, you can tell it's still there, but there's something that's not there with it. So I'm going to chop this up. And if it just doesn't, if it doesn't perform like it should have, because I've had this blend before in uh, the small breakaway bars, so I know what it's supposed to smell like. If it just doesn't smell like that, this will just go in the garbage. Because, you know, I, you know, we all have wax that we have to get rid of because it just doesn't smell or it doesn't perform like it should or whatever reason we get rid of wax um yeah it's just it smells good though i i do love pink sugar patchouli patchouli is a beautiful fragrance too so i chop this down and my shape this works for me for rebecca's wax her wax is a little softer as you can see it doesn't have crumble to it all that much so, and I've, I've melted several loaves of hers in the past. So this, we'll see. I'll melt this first and see how it is. And then if it, if it isn't going to work, I'll just throw it in the garbage. It is what it is. This next one is Thai sticky rice. Now this one is pan toasted basmati rice baked in a coconut milk and brown sugar. I cannot believe I forgot this son of a bitch because I love this. I love this oil. Oh, is it good? It still, it still smells good. So I have hope that this one will at least, that this one will at least perform. This is so, this is so good. Okay, Thai. Thai food uses a lot of basmati rice. You know, a, a lot of a lot of Asia uses basmati rice. I use basmati rice in my life. It doesn't have such a high glycemic index, so it's not as sticky as some of your white rices or jasmine rice. Even I like basmati. It, it doesn't stick together. The, the 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 rice grains don't stick together. So there, this is really a true Thai dish. They will they will put sometimes golden raisins and cashews and different things in their food and I am that's why I'm really excited to go to Lotus of Siam because they have 
Thai food that you can really only get in Thailand that isn't the pad thai and the drunken noodles that a lot of us like here. They have drunken noodles there, and, and if I had to guess, that's what my husband will get because he went to a Thai restaurant in Washington, D.C. a couple of years ago when he was there for a conference, and he called me and said his boss, and he went to a Thai restaurant, and I said, Marty, I've been with you for 13 years, and you have fought me on going to Thai restaurant and you go one time with your boss and he said well I wanted to give it a try and you'll be pleased to know that now we can go to Thai restaurants because I love Thai food <laughs> and I said what did you have and he he told me drunken noodles and drunken noodles this this smells really good so I have confidence that this is going to be good oh but I'll but I will melt this and see what this one's like. So Drunken Noodles has sweet Thai basil in it and it's a sweeter dish. The, the noodles are, are flat and very fat and we have a Thai restaurant here in the little place where I live. Honestly, we have a Thai restaurant. They're not open all the time. They have weird hours so we can't go there a lot but they have Drunken Noodles but they're out of the noodles a lot because they have to go to Chinatown up in Salt Lake and get their supplies for, you know, stuff like that. And so I know he's going to get drunken noodles, but that, that Thai sticky rice, Rebecca also offers that with mango, mango sticky rice. And I'm not a mango wax person, so I tend to just stick with the original, the, the, the Thai sticky rice. Okay. Next, let's do these couple roses from Scoopable Wax Melts. Scoopable Wax Melts is owned by Kathy and Tim Faley or Folly. I still have to ask how to say their last name, but also known as Jenny Oaks's parents. Uh, Kathy had rose girls back in the day. I'm chopping these up here. This smell is Creamy Rose Elegance. This is vanilla, excuse me, Velvet aroma of fresh roses enveloped in a rich, creamy undertone. I told you I love the smell of roses, but what this smells like, if you've ever, another one of my, my luxuries in life, I shouldn't say it's a luxury because it's not, but one of the things that I think smells luxurious to me is the smell of dove soap and pink dove soap at that. My aunt, I have several aunts, but one of my aunts, all she used was pink dove soap. So when I smell that, I think of her. But it just, it this is creamy rose. Oh, this is so good. I should have got more of this, but I didn't know. Some rose oils can be fake smelling. Some can be stinky. Some can be just grandma, you know. I, and I don't find rose to be like that. This is has almost a soapy quality to it, which I am in love with. So good. Okay, there's that. We're at an hour and 12 minutes. Doing pretty good, I think. Okay. I'll throw this away. Okay. Pardon, hold please. <laughs> okay. Next, now ah, let's do Kirby. This is Vintage Chic Scents. I don't know if Kirby's out of business or not, so I'm not going to comment on that. Um, I'm just going to chop this wax up. Um, take that as you will. This is Magnolia Bakery. This is buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, gooey batter, and a hint of sugared almonds like you just walked into a bakery. So this one, I've wondered if this is Old Town Bakery because I have seen, I think Kay has this oil and the description is the same. So I just, I think Kirby just changed her name with this, which you know she can. Vendors change their names all the time with stuff. But this smells good. I actually have a blossom bar of this Magnolia Bakery and it's it's a good blender. It is it's just a nice goes with everything. You can blend it with anything kind of a kind of a deal. So that's why I got that actually came in a sampler I got. This is Fluffernutter. This is sweet and salty peanut butter, gooey marshmallows and fresh baked bread. 
I figured Kirby has a fantastic peanut oil or had a fantastic peanut butter oil and I figure I might as well enjoy it. What am I hoarding it for? So that's why I have this one chopped up. Um, um, the only other, I've had several blends of hers with peanut butter in it, but I haven't had it just alone or with only a couple of things. I have had collectible lunchbox, which I absolutely love. That's the zucchini bread, raspberry jam, and the peanut butter. But this is more of a bread blend, you know, like a fresh baked bread, because there is fresh baked bread in this, but then you have marshmallow in here. So it's going to cream your peanut butter down anyways, because it has that marshmallow in there. I'm just chopping these down because this, this wax crumbles, as you can see, and if you've ever chopped down her wax, this would be remedied if I put it in the microwave, but I'm not doing that on this video. So I just deal with it. You just put the paper towel down. There we go. Okay. And the last one from Kirby is Drunk Witches. This is Palo Santo, Warm Amber, Soft Musk, Coconut Bourbon, and Campfire Marshmallow. This was one, I got this in one of the pre-orders, the only pre-order that she offered anything smaller than a Blossom Bar. So, throw us a bone. <laughs> some of us who didn't necessarily want to buy a mass quantity of wax but um, yeah it is what it is I guess this is Drunk Witches never had this blend before but I like it it's got a little bit it's, it's different I haven't necessarily had well I haven't had all these oils together before so we'll just see how this is I smell Palo Santo, pretty heavy Palo Santo, and I smell Campfire Marshmallow. It's got a little bit of smokiness to it, not too bad. Um, this would be a nice fall weather blend, but I'm going to melt this now. And if I don't like it, I'll put it in my random act of kindness box. I find with Kirby's wax, I need a little bit more in my warmer, so that's a big enough piece for me. Um, okay. Next wax I'm going to do is, we're coming up on an hour 17. The next wax I'm going to do is Everything Vice. Everything Vice is a new vendor to me. She's um, the, Everything Vice is owned by Lulu Haggerty from, I think it's Lemire, Michigan, or Lanier, Michigan, something like that. Michigan. She's originally from the Philippines. She's lived in Vegas. Lulu and I have chatted quite a bit this past week because I had to compliment her on her pink frosted cake, and particularly this blend right here. This is the Queen's Romance with pink frosted cake. This is pink frosted cake. Excuse me, the Queen's Romance with Strawberry Pound Cake. Pink Frosted Cake, Croissant, Chantilly Cream, and Strawberry Pound Cake. Her Chantilly Cream is a custom oil, and it's a secret. So I asked her what exactly is it, and she said there's vanilla in it, but it's a custom oil that she has made. So I said, okay. But I am just blown away at how immaculately strong this is. I am a sucker for a good Pink Frosted Cake blend. She's having a pre-order right now, which I have to get on and purchase some stuff from. But this here, she did tell me her wax is a little crumbly. It almost has the same consistency as Vintage Chic does. But I'm going to chop this down here. And like I said, it could be remedied by putting in the microwave, but I'm not doing that. This is cutting beautifully so far. I cannot wait to start melting this because I haven't had pink frosted cake for a while. I still, I mean, I have it in my, in my house. I just don't have it in my melting tote. And, oh, does that smell good? Um, she's got some really good uh, ones on her list this time. So check out Everything Vice if you feel inclined to do so. Um, Lulu's a very nice person. We've talked about skincare. We've talked about makeup. We've talked about Vegas. Um, because I was, um, 
I saw that on her page that she lived in Vegas. And so when I talked to her about this, I said, I'm going to Vegas in a few months. Um, where should I go? And I said, we're trying to go to places where locals used to go, you know, or, or locals go. And so she told me about pink box donuts. So the pink, the pink box donut blend that's on the pre-order list this time, I inspired her to make a pink box donut blend. <laughs> so there's that. Um, next one I have here is Clarity. This is avocado and ginger and winter wonderberry from Bath and Body Works. This avocado oil is so good. This is so creamy. And if you like winterberry wonder from Bath and Body Works, it has that creamy, that creamy berry, but this avocado and ginger is so fantastic. I'm so excited to get this one going too. This could even be a calm down blend, a nighttime blend, bedtime blend kind of a thing. I I'm loving this on cold. I can't wait to get this warmed in my home. So then I'm gonna I'm gonna warm my everything vice relatively quickly so I can see exactly, you know, and give in my empties video um, to give feedback because this was my first order with Lulu. So that's that. Then I have two little uh, random shot cups here. And then I have teddy bees, and then this video is done. So this first one is Second and Spruce. This is owned by Erica Kane from Pittsburgh. I bet Erica knows what Holushki is because Pittsburgh, Holushki is big in Pittsburgh. Um, what I was talking about earlier, the cabbage and noodles. This is key lime pie, key lime and graham cracker with extra cream. Erica's key lime oil is immaculate. My husband doesn't care for key lime, but... This is a good key lime oil. It doesn't have the vomit quality that some key lime has. That's a little bit too small of a piece, but I'm going to wing it and just go with like that. Erica's wax cuts like teddy bees and it cuts like swanky. It's very, very smooth. Love it. And then this next one is a sample, not a sample. It's a cup I got in a round robin box. This is Yummer's Delight. I actually just joined... Yummer's Delight page. This is Peach Cone. I want to see what Yummer's Delight's all about. So I'm just going to chop this down like this into fours. That should be enough in my warmer for this. It's peach, and peach can be strong for the most part. So that's what I'm going to at least try in my home. Okay, so Teddy Bees. We'll do Teddy Bees last. Uh, there has been some comments about the consistency of Tiffany's wax from this last pre-order. And I have a couple in here that are from this last, I mean, this goes without saying, not the one that she's working on right now, of course, duh, but the the previous one. Some, a lot of these are, actually, I have two second and spruce right here, tubs. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. I'll, I'll do those last. We'll move into teddy bees. I don't have... I don't have any, this is poured in August. I don't have any of the pre-order, this past pre-order that we received where people are saying that her wax consistency is a little bit more crumbly. Um, so I shouldn't have any issues chopping these blends here. But if I do, you know, that that is a possibility with, with um, Tiffany's wax. This first one is Tiff's Twist of Sunday. This is from July of 22. So I went through my Teddy Beast tote and I'm trying to use my older blends up that I have. This smells like heaven. Oh, I can't, there's pretzel in this. This is so good. This is cupcakes at Tiffany's, pecan waffles, pretzels, vanilla ice cream, and whipped cream. So pumpkin pecan waffles, how I chop Teddy Bees. If you watch my chop and chat, you know this. Um, I cut them a little differently than everybody else does that I've seen, but um, this smells like pumpkin pecan waffles and pretzels, and I get I'm getting caramel from this. I'm not getting I'm really not getting cupcakes at Tiffany's, but this is so fattening smelling. It's it's luscious. It's caramel and pumpkin pecan waffles and just just the, the the dense scent that that is i 
am absolutely in love with this scent. I've been hoarding it, yes, but I'm not hoarding anymore. Got to use it. So, oh, I can't wait to use this. It's so good. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. I try to keep the shards to a minimum. This is my wax-only chopping board. I don't chop food on here, too. Do I have another bakery? No, I don't. Actually, we'll do this one. This is old. <laughs> this is October 14, 2021. Uh, Jenny, just Jenny, sent me this a couple of years ago in a random act of kindness. This was also down in the basement where my old stuff was. So I thought, hey, it's time to get this out and get this puppy cut. These are chunks, and this is back when Teddy Bees did chunks. I discovered Teddy Bees two years ago, and it was right after she stopped offering chunks. So I don't have, I didn't have the um, possibility to have chunks in my life. But these are what they're like. So that piece right there, I'll keep that because I don't want to chop that down any farther. Come on, there we go. Okay. We've watched a really good documentaries, some really good documentaries this week. I'll tell you about them if you're interested in documentaries. On Netflix, we watched, well, we started watching I think it's match, not match point. It, it's the tennis, it's the tennis documentary, season two of that. And then when Marty gets back, we're going to start season two of Full Swing. That's the golfing um, documentary. If you have, if your husband's a golfer or boyfriend, or if you're a golfer or other lady golfers out there, it's a really good documentary to watch. It follows some of the big guys, Justin Thomas and Ricky Fowler. And uh, I think Justin Rose is on there, just other. Um, big guys. And then um, in terms of like true crime, we've watched, um, well, this isn't necessarily, well, yeah, this is true crime. It's the octopus, it's the octopus murders. I can't remember what conspiracy it's called, but it's the octopus murders on Netflix. And it's, uh, it's about a, a reporter who finds out stuff he shouldn't find out, but it has an octopus effect and it goes out so many different things and with our government, conspiracy theories and such. I love that documentary and I usually don't watch a lot of political documentaries, but check that one out if you're if you're interested in something different. And then we watched um The American Nightmare. That is about the um the woman who gets kidnapped and her husband gets tied up. It's kinda like Gone Girl. It's it's that one. It's on Netflix. Uh, that is a really good one, too. This next one is Beautiful Flower. I think this is in German, so I'm not going to attempt it. I, I think it's German. This is Cashmere Cream, Tobacco Flower, and Palo Santo. I'm excited about this one. I didn't even tell you. I was just talking about... <laughs> Jeez. Cupcakes by the Campfire. This is Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Blueberry Sugar, Marshmallow Fireside, and a Hint of Pine. This doesn't really even smell like... It's got a little bit of pine to it and a little bit of Marshmallow Fireside. It's creamy. Very creamy. So this one, I haven't seen in a while, so I'm anxious to get that one melting. I apologize for going too fast. I'm just excited talking about television. This one has, just like Swanky's tobacco flower has a little bit of floral aspect to it, this one does too. And it's to be expected because it is a, it's a flower. So, this does not smell like tobacco. So don't think that it's a tobacco blend because it's not. The flower is different than the sweet tobacco that is used in cigars and such. So the flower has a different smell to it. And kind of this is a, this is another another example is the cannabis flower smells different than weed 
do you know what I mean? Like the, the flower has a different has a different smell. You know, you have some cannabis flower oils out there, and you know, even in real life, the flower smells different. That's what I've heard. I, I'm not speaking from experience. That's just what I have heard. So this has cashmere in it, and Tiffany is very, very, very good at cashmere blends and those sensual blends. So this is a blend that is, first of all, this color is beautiful. This is one of my wedding colors, actually. It's a beautiful mauve. This has a, it has Palo Santo in it, yes, but it's, it has that beautiful tobacco flower. And unfortunately, like I said with Swanky, this is one you kind of just have to smell to be like, oh, yes, you either like it or you don't. And, you know, I always say get a small size and at least try it. And then if you like a bigger size, try it. Try forward in the ready to ship, but I can't do Tiffany's ready to ships very much anymore because they are a little bit too anxiety for me. But <laughs> uh, that's either here, here nor there. Um, okay, next we have another floral one. This is wax snob. This is pink pepper, sandalwood, sweet citrus, pear, peach, and sensual vanilla. Lots of stuff going on with this boy. Lots of stuff. This was poured back in March of last year, but this smells good. I would say the first thing that sticks out to me here is it's, it's a man, this is beautiful, beautifully blended guys. This is just seamless. I'm getting a little bit of peach, a little bit of sandalwood, a little bit of pepper. This is a very sophisticated, rich smelling fragrance to me, which I'm all about. And like I said, Tiffany's extremely talented at these types of blends, as is Swanky. But Tiffany is good at those blends you can't find anywhere else. And I'm finding my favorite blends of Teddy B's are non-bakery. Of course, there's Witches Be Crazy, which is my favorite bakery blend of any vendor. But other than that, I'm finding that I'm gravitating towards her tea blends, her plum, her saffrons, her um, floral blends, her, I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about her Palo Santo, although I know a lot of you guys really like it. I, I think maybe like this is the Game of Thrones line. I'm not com completely crazy about the Game of Thrones line and that type of Palo Santo. Those are darker blends anyways. Um, and this next one that I'll jump right into is the North. Marty and I are getting ready to watch Game of Thrones. We have one more season of Sons of Anarchy. Finally got Marty into Sons of Anarchy, and guess what? He is in love with the show, and I said, I told you so for 11 years. I've been telling you about the show, but <laughs> um, we're going to watch Game of Thrones next. So this is the North. This is Vanilla Balsam, Palo Santo, Marshmallow Fireside, and a hint of Smoldering Firewood. So I'll see... This one, it, they all they all kind of have that underlying Palo Santo because I believe most of, if not all of, Tiffany's. I'm sure there's a couple that I'm not that I'm not familiar with or I haven't melted that don't have Palo Santo in them. But a lot of the ones I'm thinking of, like House of Dragon and um, um, I can't remember some of the other ones now. But they have a they have a lot of um, that Palo Santo vibe to it. So maybe this one will be the one I like. We'll see. Um, and then another good documentary on HBO, uh, if you have HBO Max, is they called him Mostly Harmless. It's about a hiker who is found murdered or not murdered, found deceased in his tent, and they're trying to figure out who he is. It's a really good one. And then there's something about Jim. Um, it's a case where a family was um, abused by their step-grandfather father and stuff. It, it's about trying to see if he was a, a serial killer. Uh, that's There's something about Jim. That's on HBO. So those are some documentary suggestions if you're interested. And then I have these three more things to chop up and then this video is done. So long video, like I said. Oracle of Dusk. I think Amber Harvey is the one that loves this blend that I can remember. But this one 
is black raspberry, bergamot, velvet rose, midnight jasmine, patchouli, and precious woods. First of all, if you know me, what sold me on this is rose. I would buy anything that has rose in it, especially especially Tiffany's rose. Um, getting these out of the tub sometimes are a little challenging, so just bear with me. Ooh, got under my nails. Try not to get that to happen, but sometimes you can't help it. it smells good, though. I hate stuff under my nails, but what can you do? You know, it's just one of those sensations. Whew. All right. So, I absolutely love bros. This is a floral, this has floral vibes to it. Definitely has floral vibes to it. This, I'm getting the jasmine, the patchouli, the woodsiness of it. This is a gorgeous fragrance. Gorgeous fragrance. Gorgeous. I, I like just, you know, like, like I said earlier, in my opinion, you can only smell cake so many times. You want something different if you are a person that likes these types of oils. Nothing against bakery. I love my bakery, but sometimes I got to break up the monotony a little bit with the bakery. So I put this right back down in here. I can smell this just, it's just rising up to my nose. This is gorgeous. Oh, it's almost powdery. It's Oh, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's just, it's gorgeous. Oh, come on. Don't fall apart on me now. The only tough tart about, part about putting these back in here the way they came out is getting them back out. The first couple of pieces are tough, but there we go. We have some shards here. Chopping board is fighting with me. It's tired. I'm having lunch tomorrow with some of my old co-workers. Some have moved on from where I, you know, had left before I left last year. And some of them are still there. And I'm having lunch tomorrow with them. Excited to see my girlfriends. I talked to several of them still, but, you know, getting together. We were going to get together for Christmas, but then, you know, Christmas is always a hellacious time of year in terms of of parties and obligations and all sorts of stuff. So these last two are my customs from Second and Spruce. And yes, customs. Um, Erica, last year, I was talking to her a good bit. First of all, she's from Pittsburgh, which is not that far from where I'm from. So we, we've, we've bonded over those types of things. Uh, second, um, she is interested in starting customs at some point, at some point this year, but she isn't quite sure how she's going to go about doing that just because she does work full time and such. So she offered, I was her guinea pig and she wanted to see how the process would go. So she knows where she has to tweak things and where she could do better, where, where she, what she likes, all those things. So that's how I have these. Um, this first one is Car Battle Royale. This is Sugar Cookie Royale, Fresh Baked Bread, Zucchini Bread, Pretzel, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Hint of Cinnamon Sugar Donuts. So all the carbs that you can think of. And it almost has a caramel-like effect. These are the same types of tubs that Teddy Bees uses and other vendors use. And I'm going to chop this down the same as I did Teddy Bees wax. Erica's wax is a slight bit creamier and a little bit softer than Teddy Bee's is, in my opinion. It leaves more of a residue on your hands. Not, it's not a bad thing. It's just, it's like I can pick up this whole thing without it falling apart, kind of a thing. Um, no, not very many shards or anything like that. I mean, so if texture is an issue for you, this one has a very soft texture and it leaves a film on your hands too. Um, 
I've made it this whole video without washing my hands. Usually I've washed my hands once or twice by now, but I want to hurry up and get this video finished because it's a long one. Um, this is delicious smelling. This smells like all the cookies and cakes and icing that you can get all into one. And next and last is Gadzooks and her house coffee beans. This is the only coffee blend I think I've chopped this session. Um, this is Gadzooks, which is fantastic. This is Gadzooks is zucchini bread, sugar cookie balm, and sweet milk mixed with her house coffee beans. Erica has an exceptional coffee oil. She has a couple coffee oil. She has espresso and she has house coffee beans and then there's, I think, one more. The house coffee beans is what's in Latte Da, if you like that one. Or maybe that's espresso. I don't remember. Latte Da is another one of my favorite coffee blends in any in any wax. So um, this, I, I chopped it down into that once. And this is just, oh my God, good. This is coffee with that Gadzooks. This is immaculate. I should have got 10 of these. This Oh, holy hell. That is good. Okay. Chopping this baby down. And this video is done after this. So I will probably uh, do another one of these videos probably towards the end of April because it's, you know, almost the middle of March now. So um, I am melting a lot of wax now that I'm at home 100% of the time. So I do have my second, my part two of my empties. I did not forget um, to do, and I want to. I'm going to do that either tomorrow or Sunday. I'm washing my hair tomorrow, so probably tomorrow <laughs> at some point in the evening. Maybe we get home from basketball. Um, come on, there we go. Push down in there for me. Thank you, sweetheart. Yes, I talk lovingly to my wax. So. <laughs> I have my empties video to film. I got a large L3 order today. I'm ashamed to say, but I've been making some big orders like a lot of us have. I have that, which I haven't decided if I'm going to do a video on that or not. That will be probably at least two hours because it's it's a UPS. It's a UPS shipment and it's big. So lots of loaves, scoops, everything's in there. Um, so there's that, and I have, uh, other stuff to do, but thank you for watching this video. If you've made it to the end, I always appreciate all of your, all of your kindness and support and likes and comments and all of that. I read all of them, even though, you know, I don't always get back in a timely manner. I do see them. I do appreciate them. And I'm going to go through and, you know, maybe tonight work on getting back because I, I try to comment on every single one of your comments I try to and sometimes we bite off more than we can chew in terms of having enough time in the day uh, but I do see them and I do love them so um, I hope you like this video have a beautiful week ahead guys be real not perfect remember to love yourself and remember to make the most of every day and I'll see you soon